Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the simple paintball plugin. So this is a really fantastic mini game which allows you to play paintball in Minecraft with different guns which you can see here. And it's really easy to create arenas, it's very straightforward and it works very well. So as we can see we're in the lobby at the moment, we have about 50 seconds until the game will start. It's counting down in chat, that looks very nice. And you can see there is a sign in front of me that says two out of 10 players are in the game test. So in my inventory, there's a few different things. There is a white bed that's going to allow us to leave the lobby, leave the game. And then we have four different colored walls. So all of these are different weapons that we can select. So we have a minigun, we have a shotgun, we have a rocket launcher and a sniper rifle. And obviously when we get in game, you can see how unique these are. Um, but you can choose whichever one you want or whatever suits your fancy basically. So the game is about to start in 10 seconds. We're going to be teleported to our different sides. You can see I've made a pretty bad map in front of us. And then the game starts immediately. So here we go, we are on the red team. We have a hoe in our inventory and a bed. So this is the minigun and if we fire it, the paint balls or snowballs will just go everywhere. It's pretty inaccurate, but it fires a lot of them. And there we go, in chat it pops up, LT Jim killed Cristalano. And then if I hop onto his account, it says we are protected for three seconds after we respawn. And then we can use his rocket launcher, which fires a single paintball, which bursts into loads of other paintballs, um, to kill myself. And there we go. You can see it working perfectly. Imagine having five people aside. This would be a really fun and crazy mini game to play. And then on the right, we have a scoreboard, which tracks the total kills for each team. Uh, but obviously there's only one person on each team and then in chat it's going to tell you how long is left of the game so there's three minutes left but we could just leave the arena by clicking the bed and now we can go create one of our own so let's go ahead and create our own game now by doing forward slash pb to show us the commands and then pb create followed by a game name so let's call it sm and once we've done this we can set some teleport location so we need to do forward slash pb set and we need to set the end location for the game we need to set the lobby location for the game before it starts. And so we can do it in the same place, that just makes it easier. And then we need to go to the two different spawn points of the map, so the blue spawn. And then what we can do here is set multiple different spawns for blue. So just repeat the command, set blue, and then hop over to the red side and repeat the same command just with red. So PB set red, and you can set as many as you want, just depends how many players you want in your game. So once we've done that, we are almost done. We can go back to the lobby and then we can do forward slash PB set min and obviously the min amount of players. And then we can do forward slash PB set max and then the max amount of players that we want in our game. Finally, what we need to do is forward slash PB set activate. And what that is going to do is actually enable the arena and allow people to play on it, which is really awesome. So the final thing we need to do is create a sign. So if you just pop down the sign, do PB join on the top line and the game name on the second line, it will automatically create it. And then we can obviously right click to join and then click the bed to leave the game. So it's as simple as that. It's a really fantastic plugin. It's got some really cool features and hopefully it's going to be updated more and more features are going to be added. But overall, it's a really cool plugin and I'd highly recommend adding it to your server. So if you want to download it, link in the description. If you need a server to host on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.